let's just talk about the the overall view of having the ICC World Cup uh, in New York, in America, and what it means for that tournament to come here. Well, we made the strategic choice to bring the World Cup to America because of two reasons. One, you know, the USA is a huge market and to continue growing the sport, you know, we want to be in um, the biggest markets in the world. But secondly, we knew there was a huge cricketing fan base here already. You know, we knew how big the diasporas from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, places like that, how big they were in America. And we wanted to be able to service them. We wanted to be able to enable them to go to these matches. And, you know, I've received so many different um, messages from friends and colleagues who said, I'm sitting here in the stadium with my dad and, you know, we've got tears in our eyes. You know, we came to this country 30 years ago and we can't believe that we get to see India, Pakistan playing in New York. All the major sports leagues have used technology to expand their footprint worldwide the nba is massive in china we now see the nba going to play european games and then and the nba going to mexico how much has technology expanded cricket around the world because it's the number two most watched sport in the world it really didn't need much help but in what ways has it helped in a couple of different ways we um so you know, people tend to think of somewhere like India as one homogenous group, but of course, you know, a country that size is actually like many different cultures and communities in there. And so you can't produce a one size fits all approach to broad to broadcast or to digital um, activations. And so like our partner star, you know, produces um, feeds like broadcasts in 12 different languages. And they're not just like a direct translation, you know, they're, they're done in the, the style and the, the tone that's appropriate to um, the people of that part of India. And so you, you've seen the growth of TV broadcast significantly on the back of that. The, the significance of having one of the most iconic rivalries played out in, you know, in the, in the neighborhood of New York City was just uh, unprecedented. Uh, the the appetite from uh, you know corporate uh, you know entities to be able to host clients the appetite from uh, you know the the entire eastern seaboard I mean I I've had people fly in all the way from the west coast to see this game it's just the the ability to attract uh, you know you said it's a melting pot it's truly a melting pot of viewers uh, we had people flying in from Singapore uh, I know large groups of people who came in from from of course India Middle East. Uh, all over the U.S., Canada. So I think just the ability to access this kind of, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, the the atmosphere, and uh, of course, uh, you know, New York brings uh, all forms of other uh, hospitality events, and and the ability to then host customers, and and it's just amazing uh, weekend. Uh, I would say not just the game, but just the whole weekend seemed to be taken over by by the India-Pakistan game, which is uh, not surprising. No, not not in the least. We all knew what we were getting when we got that game, and I think it was strategically placed, uh, obviously, in New York. What do you need to see now, or what does the ICC need to see that will make them go, hey, this isn't going to be a one-shot deal. Maybe we can go back there. What are going to be the analytic markers that they look at and go, well, this was a success? It's the first step in a a multi-year process to really lay the foundations of cricket in America. Um, obviously this event you know it's already exceeded our expectations we you know we couldn't be more um, impressed with the crowds that have come through not just the size but you know the, the tone of them you know in New York we've had the massive India Pakistan game but also in Dallas we had a sellout for a Nepal game and you know that's just been fantastic to to get that kind of data that can flow into future decision making and then um, following on the back of that, Major League Cricket is starting up. You know, we're really excited about that. We think we've got some amazing people who own teams there and who are going to be really energetic and, and drive that. And then we've got the Olympic Games in LA in 28 that's got cricket in it for the first time in a long, long time. Sure. And so we feel like all of those things along the way are going to really lay a foundation for cricket in America. And so you know, I think the things we can do to really help kick it along is you know, help you know, one, show the commercial potential of the sport here. And hopefully we've done that over the last few days in New York. Secondly, you know, make sure the facilities and the equipment are here. And, you know, through our partners, we're we're leaving behind a whole lot of playing um, equipment for, you know, um, organizations that may not have the, you know, funds to be able to do that. And, um, you know, and then lastly, you know, we want to build people who are passionate for Team USA. And so, 
to you know for the team you know the players delivered for us by beating Pakistan and getting that upset and you know if we can start seeing you know really passionate um, fans for the home team then that's going to unlock a whole you know in different level then because then they can start hosting the big countries themselves and you can start getting really high quality cricket played here and you're just going to yep. get this really great flywheel of growth. And I think, Kevin, if I can just add a perspective to, uh, you know, from a business standpoint, uh, obviously there are two big sources of uh, of growth for any sport, you know, the sponsors and, of course, the media. And the fans are the third third uh, leg of that stool. I think, uh, again, I've, you know, we run a, a pretty global business, but a very large portion of our buyer community here is, uh, uh, is obviously very interested in cricket. Uh, you know, there is a pretty strong uh, validation of that over the last few days. Uh, I think you will find uh, increasingly, just given the the, the last few years of, uh, you know, the, the, the impact of the South Asian community, especially in tech jobs, I think this is this seems like the ingredients are there for, for there to be corporate interest uh, in creating the right ecosystem to, to find sponsorships. And of course, uh, it might seem very, very niche to begin with. But as it starts scaling, you think you know. I think there's going to be a pretty st specialist group of uh, of companies like ours who will have a very strong interest in promoting the sport in the U.S. because it just works for for the community of buyers that we deal with, and and of course uh, we are all personally passionate. and And I think think about the numbers I shared. Right, 1.6 billion people watch the finals, 600 million people watch the IPL. I you know we'll get da data from the, the 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 tournament that's ongoing. It is as as much or even a bigger you know opportunity to mine that data, and this is an affluent uh, you know uh, user community. So I think the economic potential of uh, of what ICC is doing here uh, will actually be felt for uh, for years after. And I think the the the, the twenty eight Olympics is is a nice little bookend to think about. The next four years are going to be exciting for this sport here.